Hey there, fam. Hope all has been well in your realm and October has thus far been kind. For today's video, I feel like I need to be fair with you and let you know that first off, in this single year, Mike Thorne has swiftly become one of my all-time favorite writers, period. And uh, I'm probably about to fangirl the shit out on you. Okay? Okay. Moving on. <laughs> No, really, it is my opinion, my opinion, that he is like the Stephen King of this generation and he's just getting started. That's no pressure. That's called just do you, just exist. Please keep doing that. <laughs> we have another collection that is about to release on October 29th if I'm not, you know, having a shitty memory again. Fuck. Yeah. Just in time for Halloween is what I remember and... <laughs> When I saw that Peel Back and See is a thing, I was just finishing up Shelter for the Damned. And I had hit that point where I was like, I'm almost done, like what am I gonna do? Shit, now what? Like I don't have anything in reserves, shit. And then I was like, mm -hmm. I feel spoiled. I feel very spoiled this year. That's really what I'm saying. I feel very fucking spoiled this year. So. One thing I'm going to say about this collection is I have no favorites. Every single story as I was reading through this was like, oh, fuck, dude. Damn, damn, fuck, that's so good. Fuck you. <laughs> know, you put words together so well. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, I'm finicky about spoilers. So don't mind me as I'm like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to go into too many details. But I will say that from the get-go, first story, Havoc, I was like, what is time, man? What is time? Fuck time. So I was like, all right. <laughs> from the get-go, I'm like, all right, okay, <laughs> fine, fine. I'm also curious as to like just how nasty the cigarette smokers in your life have been. Because damn. You know, like some writers will really make you wonder like who they've known. Was this a personal moment? What inspired this here? And Mike's definitely one of them. Fuck. It's like, as a writer, maybe we don't understand humanity, but we need to know humanity. Otherwise, how are you able to create believable characters, right? Right? Like, fuck. Some people, it's just so vivid. And with Mike's writing, his characters are always so vivid, regardless of whether it's Darkest Hours, Shelter for the Damned, but like it doesn't regardless they're just as vivid in this collection like seriously it's like you can just look next to you and be like oh yo hey how's it going because they're right the fuck there right i think like the first half of shelter for the damned i was like oh huh this is in first person fuck because i was right there i made a note that i don't fucking understand what else is new and that second story that second story though why is it a short i want more just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I don't, I don't require much in life. You know how like some of us will DNF something because, ugh. but then the other end of the spectrum for me is I don't want it to be done because it's so good. I don't want to be finished. I want to relish in it. And that was definitely this collection. I was in the middle of these classes uh, in an attempt to get certification and. I, I, I aced the shit out of the classes and I'm ready for my state exam and <laughs> my brain is mush. <laughs> so I kept trying to read this, <laughs> just be like, but it's the best kind of mush now. <laughs> and then I finally finished the classes and was like, oh yeah, you're getting my full attention now. And oh no. Gordon. <laughs> but seriously, family? friends who inspired that shit <laughs> fuck these bullies these creatures sound cute as fuck and i want to care for them all and treat them well and no i, I decide i don't want to eat that shit i don't i don't want to eat it after all i'm good oh my goodness that's right i was reminded of the video for black hole sun by Soundgarden. taking me back to high school and shit what is that nothing will take you back to high school if you went to school in the 90s in seattle like black hole fucking sun I said orgiest, orgiest. Kudos for that one. You don't get to see that word, but I don't think I've ever read that word before in my life. So thank you. 
Okay. So one thing that if we know anything about Mike Thorne that we can agree on is that he is a horror connoisseur. Like it's not just like books and stories. It's also film and the like, right? And when you're reading someone who loves their genre, who loves storytelling so much, like it really comes out in their writing. It puts you, I think that's a part of what enables him for his characters to be so visceral and stuff. Those are like the best kind of writers. There's a name drop that happens and that is the name Francis Bacon, which coincidentally has something to do with this ghostly story time that I filmed in July and have been editing ever the fuck since. And I just lost part of it. Like the fuck out of my head. This was months ago, right? When, whenever the fuck ago, get out of my head. The best kinds of writers. <laughs> <laughs> there's just there's so much that can be said but these are shorts and I don't want to ruin anything for anyone and I know I'm not the only finicky spoiler person here finicky about spoiler. you know all I can say is holy fucking shit this shit is so good I didn't want it to end as a matter of fact I'm saving the last couple of stories I think I'm on the third to last story now and I've been like slowly updating to goodreads because it, it was, oh, it's closer to being done and i don't want to i don't fucking want to halloween is still practically a month away fam it's only the it's only the six when i'm filming this but i don't want to be done yet i refuse i'm gonna hold on to this like it is my precious and uh i will let you know when i finish it i have a feeling it's still gonna be <laughs> so good I will read anything this human being writes. I will read, I will watch, I will do whatever the fuck. I don't give a shit. I told you I'd sound like a fangirl at some point. It was bound to happen. It was just, even if you give me five minutes, I'm going to spend three and a half fangirling the fuck out on this shit. It's so good. <laughs> okay, but seriously, while I do five stars, highly recommend to peel back and see just in time for Halloween 2021. Um, I recommend anything he writes, follow him on Twitter, just do all the things like you will not regret it. Seriously, if, you do, if you've if you never read anything by Mike Thorne as of yet, you need to rectify that ASAP. Until next time and beyond, please take care of him. And I will try as well. <laughs>